Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the most terrifying tales from around the world. In the early 1920s, a group of five miners had set up a small mining operation in a remote cabin on the slopes of Mount St. Helens in Washington State. These men were tough and experienced miners who had weathered many challenges while working in the harsh conditions of the mountain. However, they could not have been prepared for what was about to happen. One summer evening in 1924, the miners were sitting in their cabin, winding down after a long day of work. Suddenly, they heard a loud noise outside the cabin, as if something was trying to break in. The miners were alarmed but assumed that it was just a bear or some other wild animal trying to get into their cabin. They were wrong. What they saw when they looked outside was something that they could never have imagined. A group of Sasquatch creatures had surrounded their cabin, and they were pelting the roof and walls with rocks. The miners tried to defend themselves by firing their guns at the creatures, but the Sasquatch were not deterred. They continued their attack throughout the night, trying to break down the door and get inside the cabin. The miners were terrified and fought back with everything they had, but it was clear that they were no match for the Sasquatch. Eventually, they managed to escape the cabin and make their way back to civilization, but not before one of the miners was seriously injured. The Ape Canyon attack is one of the most chilling stories of Sasquatch encounters, and it remains one of the most fascinating mysteries of the Pacific Northwest. Before we go on with the story, I remind you to subscribe and leave like the video to support the channel. Story 2. As he drew closer to investigate, he saw a large, hairy figure emerge from the bushes. The hunter froze in fear as the creature turned and locked eyes with him. The the hunter described the creature's eyes as deep and dark, full of anger and malice. He said that the creature let out a blood-curdling scream that echoed through the forest, causing birds to take flight and animals to scatter in fear. The hunter realized that he was in grave danger and tried to back away slowly, but the creature charged at him, snarling and baring its long, sharp teeth. The hunter ran for his life, with the creature hot on his heels. He could hear the creature's heavy footsteps and labored breathing behind him as he stumbled and fell over roots and rocks. Just when the hunter thought he was done for, the creature suddenly stopped and let out another scream before disappearing back into the forest. The hunter lay there for several minutes, trying to catch his breath and gather his wits. He knew that he had encountered something that defied explanation, something that he could not explain away as a trick of the mind or a figment of his imagination. The hunter's story may sound unbelievable, but many people believe in the existence of Sasquatch, also known as Bigfoot. Sightings of this creature have been reported in various parts of the world, including North America, Europe, and Asia. Some people claim to have even captured footage of the creature on camera, while others believe that it is just a myth or a hoax. Story 3. As the sun began to set on a quiet evening in the Sierra Nevada mountains in the 1970s, a group of researchers embarked on a mission to uncover the secrets of one of the world's most elusive creatures, Bigfoot. Armed with recording equipment, the researchers made their way deep into the wilderness, hoping to capture evidence of the creature's existence. For hours they hiked, their footsteps echoing through the quiet forest, until finally they arrived at a clearing. It was here that they set up their equipment, their hearts pounding with anticipation. As the night fell and the darkness crept in, the researchers pressed the record button on their equipment and waited. And then it happened. Out of the silence, a strange sound emerged, a low, guttural growl that seemed to reverberate through the trees. The researchers held their breath, their eyes wide with wonder and fear. But that was just the beginning. As the night wore on, the researchers recorded a series of eerie howls, growls, and grunts, each one seemingly more terrifying than the last. Some of the sounds were like nothing they had ever heard before, a primal, guttural language that seemed to belong to some ancient and powerful creature. The researchers listened in awe and terror as the sounds continued into the early hours of the morning, until finally, they packed up their equipment and made their way back to civilization. To this day, the Sierra sounds remain a mystery, a chilling reminder that there are still secrets lurking in the depths of our world, waiting to be uncovered by those brave enough to seek them out. The footage, shot by Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin in Northern California, shows what appears to be a large, hairy creature walking through the forest. The creature, commonly known as Bigfoot, has been the subject of numerous sightings and investigations for decades. Some experts believe that the Patterson-Gimlin film is a hoax, citing various inconsistencies and anomalies in the footage. 
For example, the creature's movements seem too human-like, and some have suggested that the costume used to create the creature was too expensive for Patterson and Gimlin to have acquired. On the other hand, there are those who maintain that the film is genuine and provides evidence of the existence of Bigfoot. They point to various factors such as the creature's stride, the way its muscles move, and the length of its arms, which they claim are not consistent with a human being in a costume. Regardless of which side of the debate you fall on, there's no denying that the Patterson-Gimlin film has captured the imaginations of people around the world. It's been the subject of numerous documentaries, books, and even Hollywood movies. The footage remains an enigma to this day, and it continues to fascinate and terrify people around the world. Whether it's a hoax or not, the Patterson-Gimlin film will always be one of the most significant and haunting pieces of footage in history. So, do you believe in the existence of Sasquatch? Or do you think it's just a legend? Let us know in the comments below. And if you ever find yourself alone in the woods, remember to keep your eyes and ears open, because you never know what might be lurking in the shadows. Thanks for tuning into our scary story today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more spooky tales like this one. Until next time, stay safe and keep your lights on at night.